what it's like to be traveling with baby, with stroller, with tons of stuff, with a videographer that's not even getting my face in the shot. Oh hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Right now I am editing this vlog, I'm watching it, and basically we got a lot of shots that looked a little bit something like this. Um, yeah, so basically I'm gonna have to walk you through this entire video. 23 hours of traveling on an airplane with a toddler was crazy, um, but I vlogged the whole experience, so it's gonna be really fun for us to watch this together. And basically I'm gonna have to narrate it since, like I said, I'm super into living the moment instead of whipping out my camera, which is extremely hard when you're doing it alone, by the way. So, let's watch this vlog. Cartia, you can never underestimate that I love you. <laughs> Man, where do I sign up to be her in this situation? <laughs> Okay, so basically, if you haven't been watching my videos, let me catch you up to speed. Right now, we are on the way from Houston to Tokyo, and then Tokyo to Jakarta, Indonesia, which is a gorgeous place that my family happens to live in. My dad and his wife live there, and then my sister as well. All right, so we just got this wrapped. This is her bed. Kart is ready to go. Um, we're also traveling with another baby. <laughs> and this is my sister Vivian, your first time meeting Hi. Her. Our trip to the airport overall was pretty bad. The highlight was meeting this guy. What's your name? Steve. Steve, all right. Wish us good luck. We're going to Tokyo. Yeah, good luck, man. <laughs> um, we actually didn't end up going to Tokyo. So, um. Hi, yes. Um, can I change my flight? Because we were having some passport issues. Could I change the flight? So basically we had to change our flight to two days later than we planned because I was having some passport issues. So I had to get a new passport in 24 hours. Sounds good. Okay, is there anything else I can assist you with? Um, that would be it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. The only positive to us being ready to go to the airport and not being able to leave was that I got to see that my sister and Cartier were getting along pretty well, so it made me feel less nervous about the flight. You rolling? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all of the stuff that we are trying to walk to go get another uber back home and since my sister doesn't even live in the same city as me she came to houston just so we could leave from houston together which means she doesn't even visit us a lot so a plus is i got to show her the future apartment that i really wanted to move into and get her opinions on it and here's what that looks like so when you walk into the apartment this is what you see this is a study um, this would be Cartier's room. It's nicely sized for her. We have a laundry machines over there. Kitchen over here with a peninsula. I love that. Basically, this was my dream apartment. It was absolutely gorgeous, super luxurious, super safe. Everything that I wanted, but super expensive, which is honestly something that I'm not comfortable with. I really love putting away a huge chunk of my income towards savings because you never really know what life is going to look like. And especially coming from my background, I just never want to feel like I'm on my back again and that I can't provide for my daughter. So all in all, I don't think this is the apartment we're going to move into, but either way, I got my sister's opinion on it. So another long Uber ride to the airport after, and an apology cupcake at one of our favorite bakeries. We were at the airport once again. All right. This time we learned that is the new diaper bag. So the diaper bag rolls. Okay, now my turn. So of course the second time wasn't easier, but at least we knew what to expect. And somehow we made it through TSA, which is arguably the worst part of flying with kids. All right, we just got out of TSA. I'm rotating, carrying the diaper bag. Wow. Vivian is pushing Cartier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, what? What? Oh, what's this? <laughs> Guys, look at these feet. I could just eat it. I could just eat your toes. I could eat them. Okay, I'm sorry for that, but also I'm not sorry for that. I mean, look at those toes. No, we made it. It's time to look around. This is her first time at Duty Free. First time. Who's a Duty Free baby? You gonna be a Duty Free baby for us? Oh, mom jokes. Duty Free baby. You get it? Okay, all right, okay. 
23 hours of consecutive travel. Let's do it. Okay, I feel like I'm saying that a lot, but it's so true and I'm gonna wear it like a badge of honor. 23 hours sitting down in a plane with a toddler? I'm gonna get that tattooed somewhere. Dear Cartia, right now you are running around an airport. <laughs> and for some reason you won't keep your shoes on, um, but that's okay. I'm gonna wash your feet really well after this because Lord knows what's on this ground. I'm so excited for you to explore and get to know the world and get to know yourself. And this is gonna be your first time traveling so far, so I'm so happy to be a part of that with you. Okay, so what you just saw is some private footage that I actually filmed just for Cartia. If you didn't know, since she was born, I've been recording footage of her life, like Dear Cartia, as messages that I want to give to her one day. Basically, I download them all into a little thumb drive that I'm gonna hand to her one day when she's maybe 16 or 15 or going through a phase where she hates me and forgets just how much a mother's love actually means. So since she was born, I've been recording little snippets of important memories of her life and actually talking to her through them. Not talking to you guys, talking to her, talking to my baby girl, documenting them, reminding her that we've been through it all together. So just throwing that out there, you just saw a little, a little preview preview. <laughs> Guys, look, she figured out how to climb off this thing. One foot, one fat foot first. Anyways, Cartier continued to run around the airport. It was extremely cute, but extremely exhausting. So enjoy this footage. <laughs> She's doing it. She's doing it. It's you. Nonetheless, me and my sister powered through it and let her run around the airport as much as she wanted just so that when we actually board, she's not confined to this little tiny seat filled with energy because I feel like that would be a recipe for disaster. Oh, <laughs> oh look at all this Houston merch. This is OG merch. Airplane merch. Look how tired she's getting. Oh, get back so. What are your predictions for this flight, Vivian? My predictions are it's gonna be great. Everything is gonna go smooth. Baby is gonna behave. It's gonna be awesome. You're That's the plan. Just manifest it. Manifest. You're gonna be a good baby. Anyways, we finally made it onto the plane. Hello. Can I carry your baggage? Uh, yes, please. All right, we made it on the flight. We are sitting down. We're just setting up everything for the next few hours. Your baggage. Yeah, we. Can. Oh yeah, we're gonna lift it up. Yeah. All right, Cartier's right, getting a quick drink. We're gonna be taking off pretty soon here. Wish us luck. Bye bye, Houston. Okay, easily the coolest thing about this flight was that they had this little bassinet is what it's called, like a little mini cribby thing where the babies can sleep right in front of us. And they just they just stuck it up there. It was so cool. Um, of course she didn't sleep in it, but I mean it looked it looked really cool. Aesthetic, 10 out of 10. You ready? Cartier has already made Okay, so basically you can't hear what I'm saying on the plane, but we got baby meal, we had adult meals, they were absolutely delicious in my opinion, but they were all Japanese, so if you didn't really like Japanese food, you probably wouldn't like their food since it was a Japanese flight. I thought it was good, but out of everything, of course, my sister notices the water. Crystal geyser. Good water. The good stuff. And look at Cartier. She's just kind of hanging out. Guess what they just came around with? Hagen Dogs ice cream. Karti is very interested. Ooh, it comes with a spoon. Okay, I'm German and I'm aware that I'm pronouncing that wrong. J just slipping that out there. Yeah. All right, 
I would definitely recommend All Nippon Japan Airways. So good. The food has been delicious and the customer service has been so good. They're all so sweet to Cartia, you know, helping play with her and stuff. So, five stars so far. Goodness, Ali, is this sponsorship? Did you get sponsored by an airline? No. No, I didn't. Um, after this situation, no. <laughs> She's frozen, frozen. Mm -hmm. I hate to say it, but I feel like nothing beats Bluebell. I'm a Texan at heart. Alright, we just woke up from a little nap. Since it is nighttime in Tokyo, we tried to take a nap to sync our clocks with them. Cartia, thank God, started napping, but only in my arms, so I think my back is destroyed. It was super uncomfortable to sleep, but at least she ended up getting some sleep, which is really good, so she's in a better mood. Let me show you where we're at right now. So, that is Houston, there's Tokyo, we are halfway there, thank goodness. So as you can see, this little woman had so much energy because she's she's just an energetic little girl. That's just who she is, and you can't you can't fight it. You just have to go with it. Um, so I tried my best to wear her out. I got off the seats, so she had two seats to play around on. We read every single magazine on there, every single duty free magazine. We went through it. We read it. I let her run up and down the aisles and say hi to everyone that wanted to say hi to her back, of course. But all in all, it was. It was a lot, it was a lot, especially for one person. I'm so happy that I had my sister next to me, although she was trying to sleep and watch movies during the flight. Basically, I would just recommend bringing like sugar-free lollipops so they can suck on it when the plane goes up and goes down because that's probably the hardest part for them because their ears are like adjusting and it really hurts them so they'll start crying. But as I said, Cartier was breastfeeding the whole time so she did pretty good for the most part. Also, I would really recommend trying to catch a nighttime flight so they can try to sleep as much of the flight as possible, but if I'm traveling 23 hours, obviously that was impossible. In another video, I'll take you guys to Bali and Jakarta and walk you through all of the vlog footage that I got there. But for this, you guys got to see what it's actually like. Traveling with a baby and trying to vlog it, which arguably is harder than just traveling with a baby. I hope you guys enjoyed catching up with us and we will see you in our next video. Bye!